lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic knights. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. You're not rotting in a cell at this moment. I cannot have them. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. Oh. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Massive, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I will. Go! Hold! Dad! I have to 
Think a different way.
Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys already have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting.
Hanno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. You can't steal one. Thief! Put that back! Damn it! What's going on? You! Drop that! No! I thought they were for everyone. away now you drop that no i thought they were for everyone Penalty is for stealing. Got you now. Hold there, damn you. See their faces when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. They're getting away. Monsieur Franco, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their criminals, Elise. we should all be called barbarians. Come here, girl, now. Father?
Come away, boy. Anu. Anu. Look at me. Card, so you stooped the thieve you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. Ah! I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please excuse him, he's not housebroken. Blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Ah, yes. A wise man knows when to admit defeat, Victor.
And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arbor and a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Transmis sa faiblesse au reste de la France. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. De la serre. Wait! Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Nom de Dieu. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very. Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, lad. You'll have to go make around. Make way, make way! All over. What was that? Damn it, slow down! Apparently. 
Apparently, walnut is a popular finish this season. Who is driving this coach, Pelops? Arrêtez! There you are. Back of the line. Ah, 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 ah,
On a été la cause. Finally. L'augmentation des impôts Not these en a été la again. suite nécessaire me from the et a rendu plus sensible leur inégale répartition. Une inquiétude générale. Un exagéré d'innovation. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, you go! I suppose not. Game, you Easy, big fella. Let's see what you... Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, yourself! What are you doing there? Uh, running! <laughs> He's getting away! <laughs> Back at home, I suppose.
Il passe quelque chose là-bas. Ma foi, il est impressionnant. Ah. Ah. C'est avant de me perdre mon temps. Oh. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Sound and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Hear, hear, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! 
Thought you could sneak in. with you. No invitation, no end. Quite the turnout. Quite. Allez-vous-en. Be gone. you could sneak in. Not sure. 
Allez-vous-en Off with you! Third estate. Practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the De La Serre girl. No invitation, no end. Third estate practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Delacere girl. Be gone! Third estate practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the De La Serre girl. Off with you! Practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the De La Serre girl. 